Like it or not, climate change is happening all around us, from glacier melt and wildfires that burn hotter and longer. Um, the ocean temperature is not taking the gradual rise in temperature that we have seen in the past. It's the step change. And what we most recently witnessed in the southeast, starting out with Hurricane Helene that damaged places that were never impacted by a hurricane before, like in Asheville, North Carolina. Like we could never have predicted that a hurricane was going to hit a mountainous region that we would have thought was a climate refuge. Then less than two weeks later, Hurricane Milton gained strength in the Gulf of Mexico, where it started as a Category 1 hurricane and 10 hours later turned into a Category 5. And of course, it's those warmer ocean temperatures evaporating into the warmer air that drives hurricane intensity. And then we've seen these really intense hurricanes. Dr. Jillian Gregg with Oregon State University was one of the co-authors of the climate report that was released earlier this month. Gregg says the big reason for the extremes that we are seeing could be tied back to our oceans. It's only tenths of a degree, but the, the it's the consistency and the fact that any other year, you might have had a month or two that was outside of the range that had ever been experienced. But right now, it's month after month for over a year. It's those extremes that are sending global temperatures to heights we've never seen before. Billions of people worldwide this year faced extreme heat. Uh, since last year, there have been um, heat waves across Asia that killed over a thousand people. Greg says, just like us, planet Earth has vital signs. And there are also vital signs of the Earth that you can actually see from outer space. You can see that the poles are melting and you can see how much the summer ice is gone. Signs that are showing how important our climate is. So we absolutely need to undergo the energy transition where we transition away from fossil fuels and towards renewables. And how important it is to take steps now to try to make changes for the future. The report also showed that three of the hottest days ever recorded came this past July. And you might remember uh, Portland saw its hottest July ever with a daily average of nearly 90 degrees at 87.8 degrees. David, back to you. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate you breaking it down.